We turn now to a story that some say is a true miracle. A woman trapped in the wreckage of a car crash as rescue workers try in vain to free her like an answer to a prayer. Help arrives just in time, but that is the beginning of the mystery. ABC's John Muller has the story. This morning, a small Missouri town is looking for the man in this sketch. He's not suspected of a crime, but a miracle. I think that this time I've actually witnessed a guardian angel at work. Sunday morning, a drunk driver hit Katie Lenz head on, pinning the 19 year old in the front seat of her convertible. Her vital signs failing fast, she asked rescue crews to pray with her. That's when first responders say a man who looked like a Catholic priest seemed to appear out of nowhere, despite a two mile perimeter blocking the scene. He began to pray and use the anointing oil. There was a calmness that come that to me seemed to come over the entire scene. Another seemingly divine detail, firefighters say their equipment kept failing until that mystery man showed up. The words were to remain calm, that our tools would now work. Instantaneously at that moment, our neighboring department arrived with fresh extrication tools. Lens was saved, but when crews turned around to thank the man, he'd vanished. This morning, Lens is recovering in the hospital with broken legs and ribs, but some say it could have been worse if not for that seemingly heavenly hero on the highway. Whether it was just a, a, a priest as an angel, serving as an angel, or an actual angel that came in, he was an angel to, to all those and to Katie. For Good Morning America, John Muller, ABC News, New York.